Good evening and welcome back. Uh, here is Fred, your crusader from <laughs> Crusader Kings 3. <laughs> your favorite crusader and live streamer. Uh, let me check if everything is working fine. I think this is the case. From <laughs> Crusader Kings 3. Yes. So I can hear that you can hear me. There is no one yet live. But here we are, ready for another episode, another live episode of our run in the Siberian territories. Of course on Royal Court, because now the expansion is out. We started this adventure already a few days ago and it's time to continue it. So let's open the game. Here we are, and I think soon we will also hear the music of the game. Let's see if it works. Yes. And we are here with the King Sirka, from the family Belgori Jan or something like that. Very good. We started, for the ones who do not know, we started with this uh, very small county. And we expanded our kingdom until this point. And we do also have the possibility, maybe, to expand farther in the future with the inclusion of Tara. He's currently facing a difficult time. But in this run, in this, uh, in this specific live stream today, I would like to focus on learning first of all, because that's um, on, uh, on piety, not, not, not necessarily on learning, but in general on piety, because I would like to try uh, completing the faith reformation with King Sirka, with our second ruler in chronological order. So we had first, let me show you the dynasty tree, we had first Dondi Belgorojan, who was uh, the father of this family, no, sorry, we had King Kagasek. What am I saying? <laughs> Don is the one that died in the meantime, yes. So we had King Kagasek, the one who started from one county and uh, managed to build the kingdom under the motto Prosperity, Loyalty and Vigilance. He had a son who died in battle because he was also the marshal and uh, he was slain in battle, but before dying he gave no, not directly, but he had, uh, he did not give birth, but he <laughs> allow his wife to give birth to King Sirka, to his son. Uh, so basically we went from King Gazek to King Sirka straight away. We skipped one generation, basically King Sirka died at the age of 75 after forming a kingdom. And King Sirka has now expanded the kingdom significantly, so we really went in a uh, a matter of few years, yeah, in a matter of few years we went from one county to this incredible amount of territory and we could also include Tara, but because we have also included already three holy sites, I would like to, let's say the goal of King Sirka of his lifetime will be the faith reformation, so we have to farm as much piety as possible. And something that we haven't done yet actually with the new king, I could have done already once in the past, it's to go on a pilgrimage. Ah no, first I have to wait to reach 100 units of gold. Okay, let's do that. Maybe what I could also do... I could raid in the meantime. Let's see who is weak here around. This was raided, this was that, this was zero, zero, zero. Seriously? Raided, raided. Raided as well. This was not raided. Let's take a look. Okay, we can deal with them. 
this was also not traded and we could deal with them as well I believe yes then let's point our armies here first year oh, come on uh, there is a little bit of attrition but it's fine This was rated already. Let me also check on the thing. This one is also small. We could also raid them. Ah oh, no, but there are allies. Yes, yes, let's not do it. It's not nice to raid our allies. So yes, we will raid. And in the meantime we will try to reach this 100 units of gold. Then I will go on a pilgrimage. Your lover Saran died. Yeah, she was my first wife. Declaration of love from this lady. Mm, she's a good marshal. Let's accept this attention. She's not bad and she's young and pretty. Okay, here we're starting the raid. Maybe with the second army. Ah, this was raided in the meantime. We could go. No, not to our allies. This was raided as well. Now there is not much we can do. Take a look at Queen Tund Tundia. What does she like? Well, she's Zilus. Okay, no, this is definitely. Well, this was an easy call, actually. Okay, we completed the raid. Now the question is where can we move next? This is also something we could consider actually so let's move our levies here ah no 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 don't no. wait wait because there is a lot of attrition and honestly i think we should simply okay let's move back to our territory in the end yeah, we have almost reached 100 loot we should have enough money for the pilgrimage mm, I like also this one honestly does it give us gold and reduce the stress we are still level zero but we have already enough stress and want my ruler to live long, ideally. Let's disband the armies here and what we could do, let's go on a pilgrimage. Let's go on a long pilgrimage. How come that permanent human are long pilgrimages? A human is even within my territories. And Perm, I mean, also, it's not too far, it's also in my territories. Let's go to Tumen. Tumen is here and Perm is here, both not very far, I would say. It is time to depart, this will give us another interesting boost. So where are the challenges? Bandits, here they are. I 
hold on. Okay. Okay, let's try. Wow, I gained 75. I thought I would have gained the trait wounded. Because that's definitely the case in most of the situation, I would say, based on my past experiences. So... Lover, lover. She must give me a son. Children like guardians. In the meantime, I walk the holy path, I gain piety and also the trade pilgrim. We go to almost seven points of piety every single month. That's actually very good. Now let's pick a guardian for Melshai Belgorojan, who is my daughter. She has an inclination for intrigue and I will leave it so. So yeah, we don't have very good spy masters at the moment. But it's okay. And I can also designate a guardian for Inyava Belgorjan. Who is instead better in Marshall. And here we have better options. Okay, titles can be created. Kingdom of Sibir, this is risky. I don't want to create it now. I have basically already two kingdoms that I can form, that I can forge, and that is not convenient because then I will split them. And I cannot yet. I will already lose the kingdom. good but it's an option we could consider this in everything is always so painful for the moment I will not Get, getting back to forces, it seems. Also, we have some resistance in Perm. Call to a war. Uh, so this is my ally, my only ally invites me to join the war against... Okay... I will say to accept and honor our alliance. We can raise our armies here. Finally, my queen is pregnant. This is very good. Let's hope it's a son. At the age of 37, this might be the last chance. It's another. Ah oh, no, this is uh, this is my my daughter. It's okay, but another girl. I only have girls in this family. 
I don't know what's happening here. The game is starting to move against me. Let's kick the asses of these people. Mistaken prisoner. Ah, they want to move away. Where are they going? Chase them, chase them. We should be able to intercept them. Or maybe not. Ah, we missed them for a very little margin. Skim at court. Okay, somebody wants to kill my hair, my beautiful daughter. Let's discover who's behind this. Come on, intercept them. Okay, we managed. Second reinforcement, we should be able to defeat them. Yes, it was not perfectly coordinated, but we managed. Bam, victory plus 14 percent, and we can go back here and we siege. Another daughter, give me a son! <laughs> I don't know what to do with all these girls. Because they also inherit in this culture. That is an additional problem. So, let's see. Shifting interest keeps the trade equal. Plus two of diplomacy and minus two of stewardship. Bradful. Okay. Forgiving. I cannot manage to go to that. Oh, no. Nah. But I think I will keep fecal, to be honest. Yeah. Even though... No, I should have gone with forgiving, to be honest. Because then, if she becomes the vassal... At least then uh, she will have uh, a bonus of, uh, of opinion towards the leash. do actually On the other hand it's expensive but let's try how can I raise them now Because this will help us to complete the siege in a faster time. So 
So this siege will last three months and our siege will last okay. We can try to go back to this city as soon as we complete our siege. Let's move all together there before they complete the siege. We have plus 67%. Okay, they're running away. We should be able to intercept them. Yes! Battle of Ufa! They also have the Kongi. The light horseman, okay. Okay, victory, and we also capture somebody. Hmm, not bad. 19 of Marshall. I mean, it will never convert though, because it's Zealous. This could be a good. Uh, Commander. Another daughter. It's the invasion of women in this family. By the way, let's move our armies. I mean, in theory, we don't really need because this siege is already con continuing. We could chase them. Fine, we will just wait for the war to be completed. And we will prevent them from uh, reaching the, the city of Ufa. The siege is almost completed, so we are almost there, 100%. What, 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 what? Realm will lose land when Vassal inherits foreign title. Ah, the chiefdom of Tara, it's right. No, how can it be? Cannot be. He cannot inherit that. How can he inherit that? Is Maliaka of Tunemen? Is, ah, okay, but it's like, okay, it's too late in the succession, it's not a problem. At least it's not our immediate problem. Moreover, I think that they are going to lose this territory, to be honest. I'm really struggling here. They have lost also one ally. I think we will attack them once their war ends. We will see. 
In the meantime, we have almost won the other war. Yeah, we were allies. Yes. We can disband the armies. Then... Let's focus on controlling again Perm in five years, nine months left until the development of our capital. Seven. We must reach ten as soon as possible. But okay, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Let's just monitor this Tara. And let's farm our armies again. Proof of devotion, let's see. Okay, what do I want to gain? Wolf belt. What is this about? Plus 0 0.25 of prestige. Jeweled necklace. 10 and attraction of union. Rare orchid. Learning rare orchid. Give me a rare orchid. I gain it. This is very good. I got a rare orchid. We go to 7 points of piety. Every single month. That's not bad. So. Let's continue this love story. I think I should bring her as my concubine. I cannot. Why I cannot have her as my concubine? Ah, because she's a guest. That's true. But let's keep monitoring Tara. Also, this territory could be invaded. Seriously? Okay, they will uh, englobate Umiai. Yeah. She's 14. Yeah, become my soulmate. Oh. Oh, oh she became my soulmate. I have a lover and soulmate. This is good. But let's keep monitoring Tara. Cannot wait for this war to be to hand to then declare war. With the last and with the last man standing on the on their territory we will attack them brutally so let me check one thing where is their capital it is there okay and then it could be probably faster to reach it from here yes let's prepare the next war However, this ruler and this uh, high chieftess uh, Chitska, it's not bad. I mean, hate of diplomacy 10, 10, 10, 10, 9. It's very well balanced. Call to war. Okay, my friend, but now it's not that you can call me to war every 3 seconds. Against who this time? Ural. Against Ural, uh, I'm not sure, honestly. Ural, 
we could do it. But then they will conquer Ural. Is it in my interest? When this alliance will no longer be there, they will try to get our territory here, I think. So let's do the following. Let's let's accept. Now, nah, okay, let's help them at least a little bit, not too much. Let's not commit too much. I have to move again, unfortunately, my rally point. Again, where is your capital? There, okay. So the option could be maybe from here. Ah, but they want already to attack us. No, then we cannot raise the armies there. Let's raise them here. Raise all armies and we go straight here. Faction created against me. This is interesting. Why? To install Turush of Pelim. Why? Ah, I knew I should have killed him. A long time ago. Ah, seven percent. Okay, let's go. Moreover, who is moving against me here? The, the, the funny thing is that they even like me. But they're still moving against me. This is unfortunate because I really want to attack also this territory. So it's not the right time. Having this situation going. But then we could call our friends, our allies, if we help them to conquer Ural. At least they could help us defend the kingdom. And let's siege this city. It takes us only six months. Because we have now also the Onager for the siege. So honestly, I do not even know this Ural. Where is this guy sitting? Should be there. So maybe we could capture him. Okay, plus 24. This is already very good. We don't need to take the seat. Let's take a look. There are women also. No, no, this, let's not move. Ah, this is the wife of the leech. Of course she stays in the dungeon. Very good. I could also torture her. No, let's not do it. Um, okay, then we can move to the next city. Next town. Seven months. I like Onager because they are so powerful for sieging cities. I should actually reinforce them.
even tempered. I was watching Kirdia Kirdiava play with other children when Linek tried to push her over. Hmm. Let's keep her as she is. In the meantime, my ally is running away from <laughs> his opponents. This is funny scene. First they attack and then they run away for in the map for the whole time while I'm sieging the territory. It's a very good strategy. They distract them. <laughs> They make them run across the map. <laughs> what a strategy. Offer concubine. Mm, yes, 15 of uh, intrigue. And the concubine you sent? She's 24. Mm, I might accept. Plus 36. The the one who was sending it is not here. Okay. Now we will move our armies to the next territory. Such a waste of time. In the meantime, Tara finished their war. I should attack Tara rather than waste my time here. We're missing an important chance here. Let's try this way. Maybe we can vassalage here. Her father was definitely not uh, easy to convince, but maybe she's more. So... Tu -tu -tu -tu. No, let's keep digging again. Let's find our secrets. Okay, and now we are starting another siege, but on the other hand, our armies are starving. This is not good. I will have to come back to my territory after this siege. Yeah, this war is lasting so long and for nothing. This is such a waste of time. getting raided new perk available let's go here because we have to unlock profit so three months left move our armies to Laia 
to stop the siege and also to spend some time in our territory to increase the supplies because we are starving. This is not good. Okay, but at least the dynasty is growing. We should be able to defeat them there, but... Okay, they are also leaving the territory, that's good. Because they are leaving the siege in this way. This guy offer a concubine. This guy has... Uh, I think he has... No, he has no role in this faction. Let's accept. I don't get why we're still starving. I mean, in theory... Okay. This is good. Discontent 0%. Very good. Very, very, very good. And honestly, I think we have contributed already significantly to this war, so... us a lot but we managed we managed we started with this little county and look at us now wow this was very good even de without declaring war we still managed to get all the territory of Tara and now if I go to the Empire we have 22 counties and we need 45 the problem is that we cannot expand farther because all the remaining part of the empire is in the Kyrgyz Khanate and this is impossible Kyrgyz Khanate are Tengri and culture is Kyrgyz be able to conquer at least the county that is under their territory to hope to make sure that they could then um, we could then forge our the hybrid our cultures Here. Where are 
already starving again. Makes no sense. Let's go to Perry. And I could declare other two wars to conquer these additional territories, but am I sure I want to do it? Maybe I should give the time to our levies to Let's try. In the hand, we still have an adequate number of uh, levies, and it should not be too long. Let's do it. Who is raiding me? Oh, there is you. Only daughters, guys. I really don't know what to do. So our family is composed only by daughters. This is getting ridiculous, honestly. I mean, let's take a look at here. I mean, how can it be? One, two, three, four, five. And then, yes, there are some boys here, but... What are all these daughters? Cannot kill them all. Prisoner can be ransom. This is something that you should consider. Then okay, give us money. Twenty-five. This was also pretty. And last one. I should have not let her go. She's a bleeder, man. In the hand. I let everyone go. will never accept it will be Bashkir culture so I don't really care
seriously. You can lose 40 of opinion for me, don't care. You are no one compared to my king. And I don't get why my, my soldiers are still not doing anything. They're still wasting uh, ages to collect themselves. Why are we so slow? By the way, in the meantime, the other war is... Um, they are slowly regaining their territories, but I am tired of this war, to be honest. It's not my war, I don't care. My queen is pregnant again. I hope there will be a child. Hmm, they are defending themselves, these little fuckers. This should not last long. Ten months. Even my bastard son is still a daughter. Literally unable to have boys. It's unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six daughters, guys. Six daughters. At this point, the succession is screwed. This is clear. I cannot kill all daughters. I mean, I will have to start disinheriting them all, but. care of this later first let's continue our journey the succession will be dramatic really dramatic and the ruler is almost reached the age of 50 war is won here at least good to get prestige Prisoner taken. She will pay, then pay. Very good. Dangerous faction. Why is this? Who is joining now? of the diplomacy, 20 of martial. You cannot be serious. 
and uh, we have to give away this territory. We need to give it away to the one who has this territory. Come on guys, I'm within the, the domain, uh, you are all happy, I mean I can even organize here uh, a feast, let's organize a feast, it will cost us 100, but what to do? Let's try to increase relationships here, and gain also some prestige, because there is not a valid reason why you should place the other boy on the throne of our kingdom. You haven't managed to give me a child in all this time, so honestly, I don't care if your opinion starts going to the dogs. everyone happy and even if I try to make them happy they still make this nice protest against me good I will not be threatened. And I will also do something, because I have all these daughters and I have really zero clue of what to do with them, because they are completely useless. They just uh, ruin my succession. So at this point, let's try to marry them all in matrilinear marriages that at least are giving us alliances and we don't even care with whom we marry them just alliance power this is a child let's find a child Ishim Ishim belongs to me so no Konda belongs to me Bardak All this territory belongs already to me. This one. Maybe. But it's very small. This is also very small. I say it's no, 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 stiak. Sculpture, no, no, stiak. It's a pity to use the, the alliances like this.
These are all crappy alliances that I could make. This was not showing up before. Let's pick the, the young one. one non matrilinear because she's the youngest anyway. Um, alliance power but Nanostiax, okay. Still there are no, no decent alliances. Super distant. Okay, maybe this, ah, but this we already have it. They're all so distant and so small, these alliances. I mean, we should be able to handle this. Uh, people anyway let's see where they raise first of all and let's have a new chancellor and a new marshal okay here they are so let's raise our armies here was a mistake because they're already yeah they're not even giving us the time to raise our armies yes this was a mistake terrible mistake no okay 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 let's try to think
let's say it's our armies in the capital because otherwise they are too close and they destroy my armies where I'm still raising them because also it takes ages for us to raise the armies Incredible. Why does it take so long for our armies? Ah, this girl is only giving birth to bastards, basically. Disputed heritage. And this is a genius. That's nice. Bastard. The only one that is truly their son is this one because he has inherited the traits from the father and from the mother. My grandson. And I hope that one day he will be super good. to understand why we cannot get all our armies raised. They are forming a lot of alliances, these bastards. Let me use the other daughters. So here we have also Tekai. Tekai. Let's follow the other approach. So here we search for them first. No, we're way here. Those. And then small, small. Except these are not matrilinear, but we don't care. Why is it taking so long to call them? Everything was going so well. I was very close from reforming the faith. And now the game has to punish me for this. Another daughter, of course. Mm -hmm. 
but I don't see that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have a song. I have a song. I have a song. <laughs> Guys, I cannot believe it. Guys, seriously. One, two, three, four, five, six. And after seven children, finally the game has decided that I deserve a male heir. Thank you, CK3. <laughs> Cannot believe! I will call it... Thank you. Thank you, CK3. Ah, now it's good, because it means that <laughs> we do not lose the territory on, part on succession. We have to protect this little boy as the most important thing in the planet. I cannot believe. Finally, finally. And then actually there are more than seven of them, because there is also the bastard from the lover. I mean, uh, yeah, we, we, we really had children from all possible women. And they were only daughters. And now finally a son. I cannot believe. At the age of 50, finally the game award us. By the way, I will say that uh, we need to move. The problem is that this fucker will really ruin our... We have to move from there. Because otherwise they will complete the siege here. We need to stop the siege or else this area will be, will be losing control. Too late. They will win this siege. Ah, and finally my allies are also coming. Ah, finally. It's so slow to form our armies, by the way. It's incredible. people are so ungrateful I mean we built a kingdom an enormous kingdom from one county in an incredibly short time short amount of time and now this is how they say thank you they move against me like that and now they run away Lies, please come. Help us defeating these bastards. I'm going to execute them all. I am going to execute them all. Let's reconquer this county. White piece. Ah, ah no, this is the other war. Yes, I agree. 
that was a completely useless war. And actually now you could actually do something good now, but we don't disturb the allies, the other allies. Because we could call them to help us as well, but they have to reform their levies, so it's okay. And we have almost conquered the cities back. In the meantime my daughters grow. But we have to ensure that then the king will live sufficiently long because thank you CK3 is only zero <laughs> years old. Siege one, okay, plus 24. Awesome! And now let's conquer them all starting from here. Together with our allies. Now we punish you back. No mercy. Who are those hostile army? So let's see, this is my lover, my soulmate. She want to break. Okay, we have some regrets. But in the end the queen managed to give me the sun after years of complaints. And so unfortunately I must uh, let my soulmate go. My soulmate. It has been nice. But our bastard daughter Darima take care of her good <laughs> how insensitive I am yeah, they're raiding us in the southern Unfortunately, this faction, I mean, it was so stupid, everything was going so well, why they decide to ruin everything? They are not making their interest, they are weakening the kingdom for nothing. I don't want to waste money, shaman. Expired. No, why? What are you talking about? Okay. Still there. Cousin taking prisoner. We go to plus 40. Let's move to the next city. See you in the next one. Let's go. I hope nothing happens. And just because I said I know I will die there.
No, no, don't tell me it's a son. Ibaka, go be, go away. Dismiss concubine. I forgot to get rid of the concubine. I have to get rid of concubines. We have a son. Don't bother me. We only want our wife who is already 47 and I hope she will no longer get pregnant. Actually, I should uh, divorce from here just to be on the safe side, but let's see. Now I know that the game will move against me and give me a second son after all these daughters. Also, why in the meantime my allies are not going to attack these people? Do the following. Come on, G game. Let me go to the menu. No way. Cannot manage to move to the. Ah, sometimes I hate this game. Oh, finally. Still does not allow me to select only those, but okay. Yeah, they will siege before me. But I don't want to leave this siege. If my if my allies were smarter than that. Plus 32. Come on, let, let's go for a white piece. Offer white piece. Let's see if they accept. This is nonsense. What a useless war this was. They fighting? What's going on here? Why do they keep fighting? I have no war to move against. What's going on here? Okay, they are fighting between each other. Let's take a look at the relationship with the vassals now. Okay, the little, uh, the little, uh, actually it was a girl, it was a daughter, she died. But in any case, it was another daughter. I would have been scared if it was a son, that would have been really like, incredible. So these two cannot join a faction for quite some time. Let's try to go with the uh, sway here. I don't want to revoke titles because I, I will have them to, to move to tribal authority, to higher level of tribal authority and I prefer to keep it lower because uh, for the moment I don't need to switch it yet. So let's try to solve it in a friendly manner so to say. And we can also give position in the council because for the ones at least who are really good, what is the point? So for example, he's very good, let's place him. And then he will be already happier. And then what was the other one? This for example is a good marshal, so let's, 
lays him back. I know that she's this one is 22, but that one is 20, and this a vassal that otherwise would complain. So let's do it. Okay, okay. We manage. We manage to defend our territories in the hand. We are still doing fine. We have gold. Unfortunately, we have lost control of cer certain territories. Let's start maybe from here. This is good. And we could extend farther. Wow, what is this? Baraba step. These are interesting. These are interesting territories to conquer. There are some, some low hanging fruit. That's why I'm saying if these stupid people were not protesting against me, I could have even managed to expand farther our territories. They are so stupid. So incredibly stupid. And now we have a lot of daughters that we could marry. And I don't want to take care of this now. In imprisoned criminals, I don't want to take care of this now. Okay, let's give her a guardian with strong intrigue. Okay. Few champions. Okay, this is something that we need to check. Titles, recruit to court. Cost only seven and he has a sixteen of prowess. So in the hand we manage. Is Tangri and Orkuts. You will have him to convert. The culture is not interesting because I would like to hybrid my culture with the Kyrgyz. I think we should consider really to expand farther, but I don't know. Let's take a look. We are very close from having here the trait of profit that will allow us to reform the fate. So maybe let's just wait for that and then let's reform and let's see what happens. Now we have the possibility to reform. We have a male son who will inherit the whole kingdom after 3000 daughters that the game gave me, that the game gave me. And uh, yeah, finally we have the chance not to split the territories with the thousands of girls. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, give me these traits. Give me a lot of piety, I need it. Let's take him prisoner. I also didn't check here. Okay. She costs 23. 18. She has good stats, but she's possessed and she's Buryat. I don't need a Buryat. Okay, okay. Incredible. We have really risked a lot in that with that faction. In all of this, let me check. We managed to develop our capital until nine. Wow, this is very good. Two, four. Very good. Very good. Our second ruler has reached the age of 53. It's very good. I mean, with two rulers, we managed to go from one county, from one small county in the most underdeveloped area of the game, a game, an area that is entirely with zero development. And now we went to this enormous kingdom and our capital has almost reached the development of 10. And finally, we unlocked 
profit, which is the perk I was looking for, because it decreases the cost for the Fate Reformation. And now we can really think of what we do here. So, there are a few things that I definitely have to change, that are important for me to change. The very first thing I would like to change is the male and female adultery, because because in the future it will help us revoking titles because this religion, this Turumism, is too permissive same-sex relationship, shunned deviancy, shunned male adultery, it was also accepted female adultery accepted, or let's say shunned, both only the close kin is criminal and even the witchcraft accepted as well basically it does not give you a single reason to put in jail people only if they move against you only if they make a faction then you will have the chance to say okay this is a crime go to prison but otherwise no reasons for putting into prison and revoking titles so for me it's fundamental to have these two these are fundamental because i can control my ruler then I'm sure that the vassals, sometime behind uh, the scenes, out of their bed, they do some incorrect things, right? And then I can say like, ah, you cheated on your wife, you're a criminal. The other I can leave them, it's okay. But I think the most common is adultery, so we really need to make it a crime. We cannot allow that. Clerical gender, I would like to have both sexes, but it's okay, we'll leave it on only men because I really need a reduction of the cost of the of piety for the foreign race before the faith reformation. Another important thing that I would like to do, I want to move the religion from theocratic to lay clergy because then this gives me the possibility to go to head of faith temporal. And the a temporal head of faith gave me the chance to become also the head of faith. And this will go with my hair from generation to generation. Just these changes are going to cost 1785 of piety. On top of that, I will also need to change the tenets. But then the cost will really explode. Mainly Taiga and Heels. This is something, for example, Sanctity of Nature, I think we could remove it. This we could leave it. I mean, it's not that good as well, the bonus is very small. But it's okay. start removing this and I think communion is a good one
This is actually a very strong one. And just this one will cost us 1005 of piety. We will still manage. This is very good to farm gold in the long run, especially if we become the head of faith. And especially if we have them criminal activities, they may pay them to be forgiven to the head of fate. So it's very good. I could really go here and make a lot of things unaccepted. Try to increase the chances of uh, having people label as criminal. Here then the, the best, the top of the top will be either the pursuit of power, I believe, or Warmonger. Warmonger is fantastic. But I don't think I want to take that direction. Also monasticism is not bad. Find any more Direct vassal opinion minus 10 on the other hand, but this is very very good Because it provides additional reasons for uh, war I mean for the moment it's not an issue, but later on it might be an issue if we move to feudal Warmonger is another alternative because uh, it's a good option for also declaring war but in that case if there is somebody with a with a different faith but yeah pursuit of power i'm really tempted and then another option is uh, monasticism this is also very good because in case if we will have many many male sons then many male sons many sons then we will be able to send them to a monastic life on the other hand it cost us too much and it's less important I will say pursuit of power well we still afford and what if we replace also this with monasticism we will still have enough piety to do it. Not bad. In this way we can get rid of the sons without killing them, uh, sending and if they we have too many and we and this becomes a problem for the succession. It, this will give us additional reasons to declare war. It's a good alternative to Warmonger. Warmonger, I don't like that then you have to declare all the time to make the vassal happy. And I prefer instead to have periods of relative peace. And communion is so strong to get money, especially if we become the head of fate. 
I think we should go like this. If we do like this, then sins will become gluttonous, greedy, deceitful, craven, content. Okay, content, I'm not too happy that it becomes a sin. And vengeful. Because content is a good trait for vassals. The virtues become temperate, generous, honest, brave, ambitious, and novice hunter. What is making content? Pursuit of power. Uh, at least it decreases also the tyranny gain of 50%, which is also good for title revo uh, revocations and stuff like that. Let's go with this combo. Let's do it. Bam! Let me just check one thing. Can I also make that clerical gender is either can I still afford yes this was another thing I didn't want to can I also afford to make this criminal okay deviancy witchcraft I will still be able to afford Nice, we introduce a lot of crimes and then we have the possibility to make money out of it. It's not bad. <laughs> Let's do it, guys. Reform fate. Yes. Yes. What a moment. What a moment, guys. Epic, epic moments and another important achievement. If with the first ruler we aimed to get the kingdom and with the second one we wanted to get the faith reformation, well, achievement unlocked. And we also managed to get the sun, which was the, the second achievement. So very good, very good, very good. The head of fate, it's me. So now I'm no longer I'm no longer just a king. I am High Shaman Circa of Turunic High Council 53. Incredible. Now as you can see there is all the all Turumic fate, but it's irrelevant. In the long run they will convert to I believe. Can imprison criminals. Then we have four daughters to get married. I could already create the kingdom. No, not really. Why does it suggest me to do so if I don't have enough gold to do it anyway? I don't know, but it's okay. Very good. Now I will suggest to do the following as we manage to reform the faith. We could reset perks. Ah, this is then critical though. No, okay, for the moment no, but we remain on learning, but then we focus on uh, medicine and we start unlocking the perks from here because we have already achieved what we wanted to achieve, so let's do it. 
It's not a cult. The Turumic Reformation. Ah, yes. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> yes. First ruler from one county to kingdom, second ruler, Reformation of the Faith. Fantastic. At long last, I have managed to gather every important shaman in the world together so they can discuss our beliefs and establish an official doctrine to guide our faith into the future. These Turumic shamans have adopted a pragmatic and balanced view of other faiths and are promoting ascetism among their followers, claiming that materialistic pursuit blocked the path to spiritual fulfillment. I've chosen to personally lead this uh, burgeoning turum turumic movement and have assumed the title of High Shaman, an exalted position that I will pass down to my descendants. The world will see that Numi Turum Faro favors ours. Awesome! Long life to Umi Turum our 53 years old king and sh high shaman now. Fantastic. Let's take a look at our new faith. Turumism is an organized Siberian faith. The pillars are communion, monasticism and pursuit of power. It's male-dominated, righteous, lay clergy. Marriage type concubines because we can never know. Maybe we might need help to to actually uh, get children, so the concubine is always an option. Divorce, always allowed. Always. Bastardry, legitimation, fine. Consanguinity, cousin marriage. Same sex relation remained shunned. It was like this, I didn't change. Deviancy, it was allowed, it became criminal. Male adultery, it was allowed, it became criminal. Female adultery, it was allowed, it became criminal. Kiss laying. Close skin is criminal, and witchcraft was allowed and now is criminal. Recruitment for clerical function remain, clerical gender either, it was before only men, now we can pick also women for with high learning for that role. Clerical marriage are allowed, clerical appointment temporal revocable. This is a very nice fate at this point, I believe. Very, very, very nice fate. And uh, I think we should do something at this point to celebrate our new life. I think we have to divorce. Ah, no, because I do not have 100 of piety. Okay, let's let's get 100 of piety. Let's hope she does not get pregnant in the meantime. And then I would like to get a better wife if possible. This will be good because it will expose us to the Kyrgyz culture. We should do it. Declare war. For the county. Yes, this county. Yes, it cost us prestige, but we have. And we can move our levies from here. Raise all armies.
Okay, my son is curious. This is a good trait. Not going to complain. Very good. Skim discovered somebody wants to kill my daughter, Oshka Moshka, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's not surprising. Ah, it's my. What, 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 what? Ah, no, my courtier, Poshkava. Poshava wants to kill her. Why is that? Ah, because probably she had an extramarital affair. I don't know, it's Kitsava, maybe. I don't know, I have no idea. But yes. But let's see how it goes, this conquest. The Obugrich Kingdom. My wife is about to die. Ah, she has aggravated wounds for one year. But who is the core physician? It's this guy. Hmm. He has 20 of learning. It should be fine. It should be a good one. 20 of learning, special traits. Taken prisoner, and I still have four daughters to to marry. Family plagued of daughters. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then in the next generation, no, okay, at least there are some boys. But this boy is really like, he was the best. Calmly and intelligent, very good. For my son, we should find a wife like that. That is also having uh, inheritable traits. How comes the, we are not winning yet? Okay, the seat is not completed. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Aha! And I found an artifact. I mean, it seems to be a common one. But it gives prowess plus two. Why not? Enforce demands. This band, all armies, and this is good because this is the first time, guys, that we have a county that belongs officially to another culture, and so we can really start working on the hybridation with the Kyrgyz culture. I think Sichuan prisoners. Demand conversion and recruit. I want someone in my court with this language. We start to learn the language. And also, I'm not sure how to start working. Now we will give away the territory, right? We need to give it to a new vassal. We have so many vassals, this starts to be scary. I will give it to a vassal. Hmm. 
Let's do the following. Let's select a call local Kyrgyz noble. This lady with Kraven, unfortunately, but she's temperate. So a sin and a virtue. Trusting and with good boost in intrigue. What's her opinion about me? Plus 74 and she's terrified also because we have a little bit of dread. No, we don't have a little bit of dread. I remember I executed someone, but maybe I don't remember correctly. No, I executed someone. And he didn't give me dread, even though it was belonging to another fate. By the way, in this moment, guys, just for you to see it, we are the only reform fate in this area, I believe. No, not really. There is also the Jewish fate. But Tengris, for example, is unreformed as well. So let's say in this part of Asia we are the only one who have a reformed fate. And the royal court gets closer and closer because now we are, we are king, we have reformed the fate. So we already cooled or we are very close to adopt feudal ways actually. I mean, absolute travel authority I can pass at any time. The development in the chiefdom of Kazim is almost 10, it's 9 currently. This is the main problem, the military and civic uh, innovations. No. We are falling behind here, 38 years. As soon as my wife dies, I marry someone who with a super high level of learning and then we try to focus there maybe. And also on uh, prolonging his life because the son is still too young to inherit. But I'm trying to understand where do I go to start playing with the culture in a royal court? I think it's here. No, not yet. I don't want to reform. Where was the... I don't remember what was the screen where, where it was possible to start kind of merging or allowing another... I think it's this probably. Yes. Yes, but for the moment I want to keep focusing on the development of my capital. I think it's more important. Nine. We're very close. And there are only 20, 21 months left. So let's first finish this and then we move to this. Promote cultural acceptance and let's start increasing the relationship between the, the two cultures, the Hostiak and the Kyrgyz. And in the meantime, we can keep learning the language. I don't know where to see the language part. I mean, I, I know that I was starting to learn, but I don't see where is the trace of this. But okay, and let's open also the inventory and let's add the fine spear. Let's keep it. Give us two of prowess. Very good. I like this run, guys. I have to be honest. With two rulers, we went from one county in the most underdeveloped area to a kingdom so big, and we already reformed fate. Ah, somebody is raiding us. Ah, in the city of Perm, which is an holy site. So, we will not allow this.
sed libera nos amalo. Punish them, punish them. Very good. Sick indulgences. That's why I was saying that this trait, this tenant of the faith is very good. Very good. Let's accept, of course, my friend. And we also recovered the loot. on the armies okay very good very good very good we don't have prisoners if we're learning the language and what I wanted to do my god when I zoom in in the map it looks like a mess but it's fine. So let's uh, develop our territories further, especially the one that fall under our direct control now that we have more money. Let's start from Koda. And let's continue with this other city. Capital. Good. Good, 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 good. Because we must be able to compete with all our vassals. And Let's use the spy master to find four secrets. Because then they could pay. Ah, even though this part is still old to now, let's do it in the in an area where it belongs already to the new fate. Um here. So most likely it's this the most convincing it's our own court and it's always good to search for secrets in uh, your own court because you might discover interesting things about your wife, about your courtiers. Oh, Oshka Moshka has died at the, in the hand. She was my my pretty adulterer who was always getting impregnated by other people but she was a nice daughter she was zealous humble just fortune builder fornicator injustice adulterer well a bit questionable but yeah in the end she was killed disappeared without a trace poor girl Oshka Moshka, I loved her name I, I think the next daughter I will have I will call her Oshka Moshka because it was it was a beautiful name, I like Hoshka Moshka. Too bad that she died. So they killed her. They were plotting against her. It was one of the things we were discovering, but we were unable to, to find who was the guilty one. But I mean, with all the affairs that she had outside of her marriage, it's not that surprising that in the end she got killed. But poor Hoshka Moshka. She was sweet. Sweet daughter. She has been for a long time my my hair. And then she died only at the age of 35. Disappear without a trace. It's so sad, disappear without a trace. Ah, my daughter. The only one I love of my army of daughters, of my legion of daughter. Now we have six remaining. The oldest is Kirdiava, who is 
arbitrary fickle forgiving skill tactician reckless and we had her from a concubine i think we should start marrying those girls i mean we don't really have to because we have a huge army and already some allies but it's okay it's more to make sure that they give new children to our family i mean at least oshka moshka did their job she will give birth to six no five kids and kirdiava to one the others actually are unmarried i should make sure that they except the small two i should place these two but what if there are wars i don't want to use them now in any case, our family is slowly growing. I never took a look at the other side of our family. best friend and uh, I forgot actually to do something to convert my vassals to the new fate if they didn't already okay this I think already belongs to our fate what happened to this concubine oh my god leper <laughs> what kind of coat of arm is this? It's a child with the diaper and uh, it's a caveman with the diaper. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay, but this one is, uh, is fine. It belongs to our fate. This one... I think too. How do I easily recognize? I think from the... With the Slovianska Pravda, it slightly changed the logo. It's more... But here, I, I don't think it's so easy to spot the difference. Ah, here, all, all to Rumik, okay. Would you convert? Might accept. Use a hook. Actually, she was also... No. I thought she that it was possible to blackmail somehow. Let's try. Let's demand conversion, let's see if she accepts. No. Okay. Let's weigh her though, because she hates us. That's not nice. This, I think, interrupted my other's way of learning language. Yes. Ah, but here there are the right. Is a deviant. wandering this is my soulmate mm. I think he will not accept because it has zealous Chancellor, Vassal and Commander, okay, let's take this. Now we will make sure that we don't fire him, I'm pretty sure.
Okay, he accepted without complaining. He is my marshal. Let's try if he has for a hook. We do have the Zilus. He will never do it. Yeah. Stress. Hey guys, I've done nothing. Let's do the following. Call a hunt. It's a waste of money, but. Ah, no, he did something different. He played in a different way. His, uh, I see. He played in a different way. His hook. Little fucker. But it's okay. Ah, oh, I gained stress again. I'm trying to reduce stress here, guys. Don't attempt to the life of my ruler. We got prestige and we didn't manage to reduce stress. Easily defeat them and expand farther. Five hundred men and three hundred. Okay, we could do it. And then we give the territory to the same lady who is sitting here. Why not? And we can raise our armies here. Why not? Let's do it. And I can declare early war, of course, because now I'm also the head of fate, but I want to simply the county. Cost us 75 of prestige. Yeah, yeah, preferable. Losing a uh, subjugation war, I mean, it's just the beginning, but if my ruler wasn't old, because this is a war that really lasts a long, a long time, I could really try, because I still have the subjugation war to use with him, and then we could really have the empire, if we would win the Kyrgyz against the Kyrgyz Khanate. But for the moment, I don't want to do it. Available.
Okay, siege is completed. We can disband our armies. We have another small county to add to our big empire, empire kingdom. Enforce demand. Bam. And we can give this to the lady who already has the bordering county. She's my biggest fan. Awesome. Nice, guys. Look at this beauty. From one county to this beautiful piece of land. And after the Kyrgyz cannot complete this war, I might try my subjugation war, but let's see how it goes first. thinking Siberia we have 25 counties out of 45 that are requested interesting Actually, I should marry a lot of people in my in my family. guardian for my player and my my children my ch son and the um, player here thank you ck3 <laughs> thank you ck3 belgorajan uh, age of six is calmly and curious with a clear inclination to diplomacy he's uh, like his father and yeah i think he should continue with diplomacy and then maybe we will take care of that i think it's the right option here I want to convert my old court. This is another important thing to do, I believe. Okay, these are guests. Then I should also marry a lot of people in my court.
accept because it's Zealous. I know, but this is not the genius anyway, so who cares? Still, it does not convert. He's the genius. Come on, if you are a genius, you have to convert. How can you block? Ah, because it's Zillus, right? And this is already. So, what's going on? who wanted to kill secrets of nature I want the herbalist trait very good this is resistance and medium boost very good my wife recovered from consumption. I mean, I don't want to divorce from her. There is no reason because I, I originally I wanted to divorce from her because I could have find, found maybe a wife with better learning. But in any case, she's too old to give birth to another son. So it's, uh, it's okay, there should be no risk. And I already dismissed the concubines and I have no lovers, so should be fine. I want to... Host the feast, but I don't have enough money yet. I think we should raid the Kyrgyz Canate while they are busy there. Let's do it. was already raided this one not though I thought I already dismissed the lover how comes I'm surprised by that event Seek indulgence. Good. Give me the money. That's the way. And now we can host the feast. The feast was kindly offered by the vassal who was uh, asking for forgiveness. Very good. Adultery, a crime. This is so good. Ah, this kingdom uh, has uh, spent so many years without crimes because everything was tolerated. But with this faith reform, now things are starting to go in the right way. <laughs> so. I don't want to lose one level of devotion, so let's do the following. Let's arrest her. And then let's free her for money. And also this guy, we can free him for money. Ah, I spent 75 prestige, but it's okay. I can survive. Good, other money coming back to my treasure. I 
why sometimes it takes so long to form our... I will never understand this thing. What's this sign? Gathering. One year together. How, how can it be? <laughs> One year together. <laughs> and by the way, we need a steward. Let's place our bus. Otherwise, she cries. Oh my god, he's mad at me. Why is he so mad at me? What have I done to him? Faction created against me exactly by him. Ay, 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 ay. These are raising again against me. Come on, guys, you cannot be serious every time. Next time I'm going to, to punish him, because I am annoyed by this guy. For the moment let's keep uh, raiding. And I don't want to use money, he has a lot of gold. He has a lot of gold, how did he... Give it to me, fucker. This one has much less. Spy master, to be honest. Hmm. We have her already coming to our court. Twenty-three, but at least they're well spent. Unless it's a trap. I hope that's not the case. Sway the objective of our murder attempt. <laughs> Interesting. In the meantime, we have finished some works here. our military power in provision of a possible of a possible uh, faction faction created against me okay but these are really like uh, very easy to handle the, the one from Sochi also because I forgot to send my vassal actually 
This was a mistake from mine. After we conquered the territory. Yes, we have all this area that is going out of control. And finally my armies moved their heads. Actually these are still gathering. At least we can start conquering. And at the age of 58, the ruler is still doing well. to kick our ass to have the river the loot we should be able to deliver the loot also of this other group okay too weak to send the ultimatum this is good Call to war. Neighboring ruler. Against Baraba Steppe. Steppe wants to conquer that territory. They can get 2,400 men. And our armies are already there. Let's join the war. Mm, how do I? I've lost the notification. I've lost the notification. I want to join, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure how to do it. I think I have accidentally declined but it's okay i could also wait for them to conquer them and then declare an okay subjugation war because i didn't use the subjugation war until this point with this ruler so i can disband all armies first of all oh no i used the subjugation war because it does not show up i don't remember with whom 
Every woman for herself. Interesting. He's a deviant. He's a murderer. And he's a deviant. Okay, we have two strong hooks on this. Very useful. Two months. better but I don't want to cancel it yet because if I will need at some point it's better to have the chance So I think Umiai is uh, falling under uh, this Baraba step. of development guys this is very good 
it means that adopt feudal ways this we can unlock at any time we have to get the 70 percent of military and civic tribal era innovation and we could already adopt feudal ways that will not be bad And he managed to defend his uh, independence. I don't know how. Interesting. Managed to defend himself. And in the meantime, the Kyrgyz Khanat is uh, still losing the subjugation war and also defending from an independence war. They're really having a hard time. consider an occupation honestly but I don't know for how long will he survive because it's 60 and I don't want to bother the little boy with the succession thank you CK3 Belgojoran uh, with the war I don't want him to inherit the war but it will be the right time actually to declare war to the Kyrgyz Khanate There's a lot of uh, counties. But it could really be a super long war. Mm, nice war. too many alliances, that's true. I should marry some uh, members of my family just for prestige, I think, at this point.
the last daughter remaining. Let's give her a good husband and simply this, a matrilinear good ma husband, we can never know. Also 13. Good. We immediately made him my champion. This is good. So the trait patient, give him a boost in learning. Okay, let's do it. This son is promising. Calmly, curious and patient. I like him. Thing. 
Nilog is to be married. Poteca is to be married and these are married too. At the age of 17 he already drinks. Hmm. This is intelligent and comely. Too bad that he's not in the succession. Let's give him something else. Ah, this is cute. His wife. And this is lustful, so she might get a lot of kids. Yes. expand soon now that also these are married Okay, trying to implant very good traits in the in the family so that then after some generation I can remarry my own dynasty uh, without having inbred and still having good traits. And um, the reason why I didn't uh, marry the others is because in succession, if you think of the succession, we have 
thank you CK3, who is of course my, my son and for the moment is still unmarried because I want to pick the right one for him. But the same goes also because I want to keep the doors open in case if something happens and then inherits uh, Nylog and then we will have the chance also for him to find the proper spouse. And the same for Potekai who is the third in line of succession. But first, let's focus here, find spouse. Maybe we can find someone with good traits. And also is still a child, so if we find a child with good traits, that's of course preferable. And if we could also bring alliance, that is also good. These are very far, but quick, hail, pretty, robust. This looks good. This looks good. As a wife, seems to be kind of balanced and she has good learning. Let's go with her. Comely and robust. I mean, there are no geniuses or anything like that, so... Opa! What's going on here? They are raiding us. They want to die. They want to die. And they will. And then after this I think I will hand the episode for the day because uh, it's already three hours that I'm in front of the screen with this game and I have already spent quite a significant amount of time at work today in front of the screen so I think we should really go. No, 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 before they finish the siege. Come on. No, they managed to finish. Punish them. And here things are not going well. I don't want this flagellant and I don't want to confess my sins. Bam! My glory is widely known and we managed to recover the loot which is good. Very good. Come on, let me disband the armies. is growing too much in my opinion but it's okay for the moment oh, they're attacking us again what's going on who are these you know what let's annoy them stupid raider And in the meantime, the faction targeting me has disbanded the religious one. The other one is still there, but it does not have discontent and political power, so I think soon it should disband as well. I will imagine.
And this guys means that honestly, I think for today we could finish here. Also, I see and seeing that there are no viewers at the moment, so yeah, I think probably this is the right time to finish the episode for today. The Kyrgyz Khanate, let's see how they are doing. Whew. So, depending from the independence war. And yeah, they are having difficulties, this I can see that. At the right time, I would like to take these territories here of this duchy. We are actually exalted among men, 61 years old. That's an option actually to declare war for the duchy. It will cost us a lot of prestige we could take advantage of the current situation because for the moment we really have uh, everything in favor and they don't and this will really be a big boost for us for our further expansion also I want to take a look a quick look at the culture innovations 29 years, 26 years. Well, we still have a lot of time to wait before we complete at least 70%. That's the only problem. Maybe with uh, Thank You CK3 we might need to focus on learning. but this time to unlock as soon as possible the civic discoveries. And in the meantime, you can see that the, the new Tumuric, Turumic faith is spreading across our territories. And not only. So it's a matter of time and we will become the real fate. Very good. Guys, I am uh, really proud of what I've done so far. What's going on here? What is this? Ah, okay. I'm very proud of what we have done in this episode, of the achievement that we have uh, reached. I really hope it will be possible to continue like this, maybe in the direction of the kingdom of the feudal ways we will see and yeah then we will see what it will happen with our family but the point is that after 64 years we already have a large kingdom that actually includes already two kingdoms but we don't have uh, already the um, enough counties enough uh, yeah counties for the empire we have a reformed faith we are still tribal, but we are still getting slowly closer to the transition to feudal. And the moment we will become feudal, we will have finally the possibility to play royal court, for the effective royal court. I mean, there are of course changes that um, in royal court that we had already the chance to explore. And maybe what I should do, now that here the relationship here improved, I should go back to that guy in my court and ask him to teach me his language. Where was him? Kyrgyz. Was the only one I have. I think I had another guy as well. Wait a sec.
It was not this woman. There were other, there was another Kyrgyz. Wait a second, how can I see the, the languages? That's Turkic. Because I have to do this. No, no, no. For three months, I don't want to learn. I can do it from the people at my court. The same language after all. Shaz Turkish. Turkish. No, maybe it was different. Shaz Turkish is the same language, so I can learn it from here. Okay guys, and with this I believe that we reached the end of the episode for today. It was a long run, 3 hours and 17 minutes, but it was really worth and our kingdom looks beautiful, so I cannot really complain guys. I hope you also enjoyed, we didn't have many people, I have some visitors who from time to time join, I can see from the concurrent viewers, but you never leave a comment, I hope at least you subscribe, probably not. But if you, if you like the content, if you like Crusader Kings 3, if you would like, you could also exchange opinions because you can write in the chat, but at least subscribe, maybe leave a like. Then if you also want to comment when I'm live streaming, that will be the best, the absolute best, but please just show some support because this is still a small channel and I definitely need your support. So thank you so much, so much as always for your attention and guys, see you in the next video.